everybody and uh, welcome to treat your feet it is our body care 101 so um, I'm gonna get right into it feel free to drop any comments or questions in there um, but this is actually one of my favorite things to do and it helps your pedicure last longer or gives you an at-home one so I am doing this um, in the bathroom, but so we can use the tub if we want to use the tub. Um, but I'll also show you how to do it without water. So the first thing I am going to do is I am going to take out our satin hands set. Okay, so satin hands is not just great for the hands, it is great for the feet. And you guys will get to see that right now okay and um and this is something i absolutely love to do that makes a big difference if you don't have a chance um for a time to get to the um spa okay so the first thing i'm going to do is and i'll show you i have these little plastic grease but you don't need anything special you can actually use like regular shopping bags you can use um, like gallons of block baggies, anything you want. And I'm going to use just for ease disposable um, washcloths, but you can use regular ones just fine. Okay, so I have all this stuff ready to go. So I'm going to start with step number one of satin hands. Okay, and this is our hands emollient, it is super rich. Okay and thick. So I love this because what it does is it helps um, the skin that's really rough and hard start to soften so that we can move on to the next two um, steps and that those steps can actually break down the skincare. So I'll break down the dead skin. So we're going to start with this rich emollient that's going to help soften the skin. Okay, so I'm going to rub that all over both of my feet and I'm going to focus on where I have a thicker skin build up. So that might be the heels, that might be the side of the foot, it might be underneath the ball of the foot. It all depends a little bit on whatever you got going on in terms of how your shoes wear or how you walk. Okay, so that's it. I'm just coating my, my feet in this. All right, and the next thing I'm going to do is once I get this I'm gonna actually move on to our white tea and citrus smoothie scrub okay so this hand scrub is um, filled with uh, shea butter and the sugar is actually the part that's going to scrub the dead skin off the feet so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rub this scrub all over my feet. I'm going to really massage it in on that dead skin area. And what's great is as you're doing this for your feet, you're treating your hands at the same time too. So it's kind of like two for one. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to take a washcloth and you can get it wet with warm water or it doesn't really even need to be super warm because you'll see that your body heat will warm it up in a second here. So I'm just getting these wet, these uh, disposable cloths a little bit wet. And I'm going to wrap my foot up like a little taco or burrito or whatnot. Okay. And then I'm going to put them in my little plastic booty. Okay, so this sugar scrub, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other um, foot, right? So I already put the softener on here. I'm gonna go back in with the scrub. But because this has shea butter, it's gonna help soften the skin. And that sugar scrub, 
is really going to um, help get that dead skin buildup off. So I'm gonna, again, scrub harder on the heel, the back of the heel, the bottom of the heel, the side of the foot, um, wherever it is uh, a little bit more built up for you. And this is gonna help. This is definitely something great to do. I, and we're doing it on the feet and we're doing it, um, obviously it's side hands, so you can do it on the hands as well. Sometimes I will use this on my knees or my elbows, but I am gonna share with you in a minute another great exfoliator we have with that, okay? So again, I'm gonna take a wet cloth and I'm gonna take a wet cloth here and I'm just going to Brought my foot up like a little taco. So it's gonna end up creating like this nice, um, so here's my foot all wrapped up with the wet cloth. I'm gonna put it in this little um, bag. So now my body heat is going to help uh, warm up that area and it's gonna help the emollient and the scrub really get deeper into the skin, okay? So I'm also gonna Rinse my hands off a little bit so they're nice and soft now too, okay? And then, so what I wanna share with you, I know I talked to just right now about, sometimes I use the satin hands scrub on the um, knees and the elbows, but I do wanna share with you one of my favorite scrubs for that. And that is also in the satin collection, right? So this is satin hands, but it's in our satin body collection. Okay. So our satin body collection actually has a body exfoliator. Okay. And what I love about the body exfoliator is the um, exfoliation beads in this are finer than sugar crystals and they're more spherical so they're a little bit gentler for the skin this is great to use like i love to use it every now and then underneath my armpits too because it like gets rid of that uh build up from wearing your antiperspirant or deodorant on great also to use all over your body if you're going to do a self tanner Okay, before that, because it's going to help get all the dead skin off. So anytime you do an exfoliation, like our scrub, our um, satin body exfoliating scrub, you want to follow it up with a hydrator. Now, we do have the same satin body body lotion, and that's a great hydrator as well. The one that I'm absolutely in love with right now from our satin body collection is our whipped body cream which is like I kind of call it a body butter because it's that rich you guys can see how thick that is and using this when I get out of the shower um, especially after I use the exfoliator you can tell because um, your skin is not dry anymore right you've sloughed off the dead dry skin and you've left healthier um, skin underneath the body cream absorbs so quickly into that and it makes such a difference in keeping your skin hydrated throughout the day instead of trying to put like a, um, a cream on top of skin that's not exfoliated, you're not gonna get the same amount of absorption, okay? So we're gonna now move on to um, the next part. I'm just gonna move this down a little bit so you guys can see my feet a little bit more. So I'm gonna go back to foot number one. I'm gonna take off the bag and I'm just gonna set it to the side. And now I'm going to, um, as I unwrap my foot, I'm actually going to use that um, cloth to help get the scrub off of my skin, okay? So you can, if you want to um, rinse, you know, at this point, but we're gonna do one more step to really get rid of the dead skin. So I tend to rinse all the way at the end, but you will definitely feel right now 
how much softer your skin is. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to move on to actually it's a facial, um, a chemical exfoliant. And this is our Revealing Radiance Facial Peel. It has glycolic acid in it, which is able to penetrate several layers of skin cells and release the dead skin cells that are trapped in some of our deeper areas. So I'm gonna layer this on again um, all over the foot and I leave like a nice concentration on where I have um, some of those thicker areas. Now, if you choose, Two, kind of like right before you do this step, um, if you have a pumice stone at home, I like to use the pumice stone right after kind of I used the scrub and I'm um, taking that off with that wet cloth. So as you guys can see, I'm going to put my foot right back in here, but no cloth this time. Okay, I'm going to put my foot back in here with no cloth and I'm just going to let um, that glycolic acid mask kind of hang out on the skin and um and the great thing is you could do you could do it on your face at the same time right you could do your face at the same time you're doing this and you're going to leave the the mask on for 10 minutes and then you know okay i'll rinse my face then i'll get in the shower and i'll rinse the mask off so again i'm taking the scrub off with that um wet cloth i had on there and i'm going to now layer on the chemical exfoliation that's really going to do a better job at getting the dead skin cell that seems to be built up on the back of our heel or the side of our foot um, to really penetrate and release that. And it's going to make such a difference on the skin. I'm going to go back to, we'll see what I put, oh, here's my other bag. Put my foot back in this, okay? So again, as we're doing the feet, we can be treating the rest of our body. I'm just going to rinse my hands off real quick. How are you guys? Say hello and where you're logging in from. And um, so this glycolic acid um, revealing radiance facial peel that you can absolutely obviously do from the bra line up releases those dead skin cells. So you'll actually see less fine lines, um, less wrinkles. This is going to be able to penetrate those deeper calluses on the bottom of your foot and make a bigger difference. Okay. So super excited about that. I wanted to share with you some, while we're letting the mask work, some of our other body care products. So I talked to you guys about the satin body um, exfoliating and the body lotions, but we do also have a satin body shower gel, okay? Um, which is great. It's the same white tea and citrus. One of my other favorite body gels is our two-in-one. Um, wash and shave gel. This is absolutely what I use to shave my legs all the time. I love the scent of this. It's very light and mild. Um, and this is great kind of two for one. I like to, you know, those products that do more than one thing. We also have a little bit more fragrant washes and lotions. And one of those is our uh, berry and vanilla. And this comes in a wash and a lotion. And then we also have the same formula, just a different fragrance in the apple and almonds, okay? So there's a lot of ways. We should still take care of our body skin the same in terms of our facial skin, in terms of we're cleansing, exfoliating, and hydrating and protecting all the time, okay? So we don't need to do a massive exfoliation all the time um, with all skin, but we need to make sure we're doing some type of periodic exfoliation to help that dead skin really slough off so we see that healthy younger looking skin underneath okay so super excited about that now let's talk about what's going to happen so this revealing radiance facial peel is doing that super super deep exfoliation and when we do one of those we want to make sure that we always um properly hydrate after Okay, so because the exfoliation really helps our skin not over it slough off dead skin cells, but it helps remove um, some impurities, it, we want to make sure that new like healthy skin cells that are revealed have everything they need to protect and re-nourish themselves, okay, and make sure that they're as healthy and luminous as possible. So we're going to like jump ahead in time. We'll do like 
think that you know like how Wayne's World did it. You might not be old enough to remember Wayne's World. If you're not, definitely go back and watch it. I want to say this before um, I take. So if I was just hanging around the house doing this and not on live, and I want to leave my foot in these little bags, this is my recommendation to you guys: put your socks on so that you can walk around the house safe and not be sliding around in plastic bags. Okay, did that once? Wasn't fun. So learn from my mistakes. Okay, so now we are going to take the um, Revealing Radiance off of our feet, okay, the facial peel, um, glycolic acid off our feet. Now, again, if you are doing this as like a part of a whole self-care Sunday and you put the Revealing Radiance peel on your face, super easy, right? You just jump in the shower and you can rinse everything at the same time. Okay, so I'm just going to do it in my little basin here, rinsing my feet. Um, and it's going to make a difference. You guys will automatically feel right away how much not only softer and smoother your skin is, but it feels a lot more supple. And that's because the dead, dry skin has absolutely um, come off. And because it's not dry and shriveled up, it doesn't have any hard edges anymore. So your young skin underneath is much more um, supple, okay? So let me just make sure I have everything rinsed off here, okay? Here we go. And I'm just going to use my towel and pat dry, okay? So I'm just gonna pat the feet dry just a little bit. And I'm gonna go in to nourish with our nourishing oil. I absolutely love this, okay? So the nourishing oil has olive oil, sesame oil, sunflower oil, um, and it has tons of vitamins A and E. Oh my gosh, every single time I do this, I'm still like, oh, that feels so much better, okay? And um, don't like be hesitant. You can put like, you know, like plenty on, and I really make sure that I, I concentrate it around the cuticles, too, it's going to help stay nice and dry. So I'll do this for the other foot, but I do want to show you what I generally do. And that is then I go in with our, um, our Mint Bliss Energizing Foot and Leg Lotion. And I love this because the mint um, increases circulation. So it's going to help bring healthy nutrients back to the surface of the skin and help that blood flow and the mint um, helps kind of just um, uh, reinvigorate. So I find that it feels like also like a little pick me up and the rosemary helps kind of relax a lot of tension. This is great to put on if you stand on your feet all the time. And then I always make sure because I have um, tiles like that floors and I feel like the tile kind of sucks moisture out of my feet. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but I always will like the night that I do this, make sure I put on a nice heavy layer of that foot cream. And, um, and I put a sock on so that it really like can seep in overnight. I don't do like anything super fuzzy because I've done that before. And then I've ended up with, um, like, Fuzz totally stuck all over the place. So again, I'm gonna go in. Oh, I have like on my right foot because I have a problem with my nerve on the right side of my leg, or on my right leg. I have us this patch that's so much worse than the other side. And this is the way that makes a difference. Now, in the morning, you'll still tell the difference, and still okay in the morning if you do normally use like a pumice stone because your skin's gonna be soft and supple, so that is gonna come off much easier. But I like doing this at night because this is when your body can repair and heal itself. I wouldn't necessarily do this treatment like before the day. I would definitely do this so that I can sleep in it and let my feet really get the best results. So, oh, here's another sock. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed the treat your feet and body care session and you got to learn a little bit about 
some of the body care products that we have in Mary Kay and how they can make a difference in your life. Um, but it's definitely something to treat yourself to because you are worthy of the investments in having soft feet and hands and taking care of your body from head to toe. I hope you guys have a great night.